Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to do one experiment to understand the phenomena of buoyancy. And we just need two things for this experiment. A transparent jar filled with water and an orange. So now let's see what happens when we drop the unpeeled orange in the jar. Okay, it's floating. And now see what happens when we drop the peeled orange in the jar. Oh, it sinked. So why does this happen? The unpeeled orange seems to have more weight than the peeled orange. But the unpeeled orange was floating and the peeled orange sinked. So let's understand why this happens. The peeled orange sank in the water because its outer layer was removed. This outer layer is what helps an orange float in water. The ability of an object to float is called buoyancy. What determines buoyancy is density, which is how much mass of an object is there in a given space. An object with heavy density means there is a lot of mass in a given space, while an object with low density means there is less mass in a given space. For an object to float in a liquid, its density should be less than the liquid. The unpeeled orange floats in water because its outer orange skin has a lot of air pockets in it, which means that this skin has lower density than the water. But when you remove the skin, the air pockets that help the orange float are also gone, and so it sinks. Okay, so this is the concept of buoyancy, but what do we do with it? How do we use it? Ever heard of submarines and how do they travel underwater? Let's find out. Submarines can change their density to rise to the surface or dive into the water by using ballast tanks. These tanks are filled with air or water depending on whether they want to float or sink. When the tanks are filled with air, they reduce the submarine's overall density compared to the water around it which makes it float. Filling up the tanks with water makes the submarine denser than the water around it which makes it submerge. Hope you like doing this very simple experiment and seeing its uses in the real world. Do subscribe to our channel and keep watching for more such fun and informational videos. Thank you.